Finally! The Michaels Hall! It's here! No more waiting. Let's see what you got. Okay. I've been waiting all week. I hope it's good. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Okay, let's see what I got. Turn on some lights. Oi, 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 oi. Okay. I moved my lamp over here to give me more light because sometimes I take that in the other room. But today at Michael's, this on clearance regularly two hundred dollars marked down to fifty because it was missing the bulb so that's a deal and I got the bulb and used a forty percent off regular priced item so the bulb was I think 37 let's call it 40 so 40 percent off would be minus 16 so 24 and 50 we'll call it 75 bucks instead of 200 so now I have a second one now this one doesn't have you know all the arms and everything that that one does but hey I've got a second one so I can keep one in the living room yay me okay so that's one thing I got. We'll call that the gift for Mother's Day from the kids. Because that's, you know, for me. Okay, what else did I get? All right. Let me get you that tripod. Let me get the tripod. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. <laughs> almost seven o'clock already. Okay. Let's get you all up in here. Look. I guess we'll do it like this. Sorry. Weird angle. Sorry. I'll fix it. I can't I can't deal with the weird angle. Okay. So what else did I get? Clearance. I got these. Holster things. So they're, you can use them on your cart. You can use them on the table. They're in clearance. Marked down to $4 from 10. I figured, hey, what the heck? Let's try one. I'll, uh, which, one which one do I want? Because I was thinking if I if I don't need this many, maybe for a giveaway in the future. We'll see. Um, hmm. I guess I'll keep the odd gray one. Let's let's try it. Oh, I don't even have to bust it. Okay. So. Yep, that's good. Um, there you go. Diamond painting pens. Clean, dry surface. Yeah, that works. Awesome. So, four bucks. Hey, why not? <clears throat> and, they, and they work on a cart, too, supposedly. Let's try it. Well, yeah, look at that. Can you even see it? Where is it? There. Dip you down there. See? Right here. Oops. Jesus. Save me. Okay. 
Yep. 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 Cool. Okay. So that's kind of cool. Hadn't seen those before. Sorry. All over the place. Wonky, wonky. Hang on. I am so good with the camera work. Okay. I thought those were cool. So I got three of those and then one that's for like long stuff, diamond painting pens, and then, you know, whatever. I don't know. I thought they were cool. Hobby holsters. They might be on clearance at your Michaels too. This was on clearance. I don't know how much it was. I'd have to check the receipt. Let's see. Udala. So it's a gauge for like your sewing for the hems. Make sure you're even. Because you know, I always eyeball it. Hey, this makes it easier. Uh, these were on clearance. The little DMC stickers. Oh, my leftover drills. Uh, regularly $3 on clearance for $1.17. They had two. And since I haven't been able to find the magnet for the needle minder that Danette gave me, I bought a six pack of the Neodymium, Neodymium, I don't know, whatever, the strong ones. And I figured I have extras to try making my own needle minders. I got those. Right. So that's the little stuff. I did get, these were two dollars. I got four of them. Matchy matchy. Normally I like black, but obviously my shelving is white, so I couldn't decide whether to accent with white or black, so I went black. Because most of the frames, when you're looking for inexpensive frames, you got your choice of white and black. And I tend to like the black better in general, because I think they stand out against the you know, apartment colored walls better than, you know, the white frame. So, we're going black accents in here. <clears throat> so, I got just four plain boxes. Why four, you ask? Well, I would have done eight, but I didn't. I didn't. Well, because, you know, they've got nine bins. And I have five nine cubbies. I have five bins, which leaves four left over. So if I wanted to, you know, but I might, hey, maybe I'll put those in them if they fit so that I could stack them and get at them easy and put a label, rounds and squares. We'll see. But hey, love storage. Okay. I did also look for the, the letters to spell it out and um, my H is really big. I couldn't find anything similar in size. And the ones that were big were too expensive. So it's going to be an ongoing hunt for clearance letters to spell hoarder. Okay. So I've got those. Put those aside. All right, and then I'm going to take you down and show you because I, I don't want to pull them off. Okay. 
Um, okay. We all know it's hard as hell to find the right size um, frames. And typically you want to go bigger than smaller so you don't have to cut stuff off. But then you get so big that it's an issue. <sighs> All right, so Revealing Woman was 12 and a half by 12 and a half or 32 by 32. So really wanted to do the suede mat and the gold frame but then I thought well gold and silver and all that going on in here a little much um so what I ended up getting was oh Jesus I got this <clears throat> so again 32 by 32 centimeters now this is double matted with like a shadow matting. They've got like a spacer in there. But I have the mat cutter. So we'll see. I have to take it apart and see if I can recut the mat. But the overall frame size is 18 by 18. My painting is 12 by 12. So three inch space all the way around. So if I completely got rid of the mat, I could just do a three inch mat all the way around, buy one. They don't have anything in colors available at Michael's. It's just white and cream. And then the inside, they've got it matted. They're showing eight by 10, but that looks square. So they've got like an extra, I don't know. I don't know how you get eight by 10 when it's square, but whatever weird but it's big enough that I can play with this whether I can recut the mat bigger like pull the bottom I don't know we'll see we'll see but I got that for revealing woman just a black frame and then that pink orchid was also square so I got a second one same. Oh, no wonder it looks so weird. They've got the, oh see, they got that picture in there that way. And this way they've got the picture in the wrong way. That's why it looks so odd. Okay. Well, anyway, that's what it's supposed to look like. Somebody must have taken this one apart already. Or they had a challenged person put it together. Anyway, yeah, I can recut. Hopefully. So I got two square frames for those two square paintings. So I'll figure out some sort of mat. Okay. And we're just doing black frames for the gal gallery wall. That horse will get moved somewhere else. Brian actually commented the other day that he really liked it. So. Okay. Almost dropped it. Okay. Now. At Michael's, they have this studio decor. Now, most of the aisles, and I should have hold out the camera when I was in the store they'll have them sorted by size and none of the sizes are the right proportion for the diamond paintings but on the back wall they had these with the camera in the corner sized for digital photos so the proportions were better 40 by 55 two of those ever moment paintings were 40 by 55 so again their mat makes it a 12 by 18 but to pull the mat out you got a 16 by 22 which is exactly what i need for two ever moment paintings so i got two okay right now these are i think 60 percent off <clears throat> and then Cinderella, instead of being 40 by 55, Cinderella is 40 by 60. So, again, mm, 16 by 24, 16 by 22. See, they got odd sizes on that back wall. 40 by 60. 
exactly the right size for Cinderella, 40 by 60, 40 by 55. So I found what I needed for those three. So the two ever moments, Cinderella, the um, revealing woman, and the uh, <clears throat> purple orchid. So pink peony and the piano. Oh, hummingbirds, I'm missing one. What the hell? I didn't buy enough frames. What the heck? I missed one. Darn it. Revealing Woman and Pink Orchid. Those are the two square ones. Cinderella is 42 by 60. I got 40 by 60. Well, it's 41 and a half. And that's 40 and a half. So it's one inch. So a half inch on each side. We'll see. We'll see what I'm going to do. <clears throat> I might get a different one. We'll see. I can't believe I messed up. Okay. Pink Peony, 40 by 60. Oh. So the 40 by 60 pink peony, that'll fit perfectly in there. Cinderella is a little too big because she's 41 and a half. So maybe we'll put the pink peony in there because Cinderella is beautiful. I want like a really special frame. Um, not that the pink peony isn't too, but. Um, and then the hummingbirds. 40 by 55 and the piano 40 by 55 so yeah I guess I forgot the pink peony missed, I missed one okay so I still need a frame for Cinderella I do have more frames behind the couch I don't remember what they are though I think there's a white one back there maybe but I don't think it's big enough and then of course I've got Alice her frame is back there yeah, I don't have all that room in my closet like I used to, so all my big stuff is behind the couch. I guess I'll dig back there and see what I got, see if I have something that's going to work. Okay, so I didn't have any more frames back there. The only thing I've got is the frame for Alice. And then that canvas, blank canvas. So that's all I've got. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, those frames, let's see here. They're $18 right now on clearance. Oh, and the bulb. Oh, she gave me, let's see, I got it for 20 bucks. So $70 for the lamp and the bulb. Good. Okay. Um, the square frames were twenty twenty seven dollars. Let's see, Let me figure this out. Um, Jesus, oh, what did I sit on? Uh, let's see here, standard frame, eighteen by eighteen. $50. Oh, that's the uh, batteries are five bucks for six battery or batteries. The um, magnets, five dollars for six, four dollars for the holsters, dollar seventeen for the DMC stickers, two bucks for the sewing gauge, fifty dollars for the lamp, five dollars for the magnets, twenty dollars for the bulb, eighteen dollars for those rectangular frames and the square ones the 18 by 18 square those are a little more expensive those were $27 normally 46 so but yeah it's hard to find a square frame anyway um <clears throat> all right uh i have now with this extra stuff today. I've got like three hours of recording and this is the end of it so you would have it all would have been posted by now because I'm going to split it up. I'm not going to put out a three hour video. 
I need to portion it out bit by bit all week long. Um, yeah. And I pooped and I'm hungry, so I'm going to eat probably just a bowl of cereal and watch Orange is the New Black. I got distracted last night and didn't even get through the first episode of season six. I spent a couple hours talking to Becky last night and then I touched base with Gwenny just a little while ago, check in with her, see how she's doing, and talk to Alicia um, today. So I've been socializing a lot. It's a lot for me at least. Oh, and then I emailed back and forth several times with Vicky the other day. And and then of course Jennifer Roberts, she's such a sweetie. She always checks in with me like many times a week. And chatted with Danette. So yeah, I talked to lots of people in the last couple days. <clears throat> so I'm going to shut off my brain. And I see a message came in just now. So I'm going to check that and then I'm checking out, you know, just mentally and I'll start editing stuff. <gasps> what? Hoarder. Yeah. Put it right up there. Oh, oh. you can put it right along over the like put the let's see H O A R and put it over the vent. Some sort of letter that has a lot of space in it. Hoarder. Or I could put it over the closet. I could put it all kinds of places. I could put it over the curtains. Hoarder. Yeah, that's that's a perfect spot. You can put it right there. Hoarder. But yeah, I need a lot more letters. Got the H. Okay, guys. <clears throat> I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye. H is for handsome. Give me an O for organized. Give me an R for... No, I've got the wrong letter. Give me an A. For affected. Give me an R for. <laughs> Give me a D for dementia. Give me an E for eccentric. Give me an R for ridiculous. I don't care how you spell it, she's still a hoarder. <laughs>